not everything that Falco is able to get out of up tilt uh, is particularly true, leaving there to be some mix-up room between the neutral bees out of the up tilt and uppers and whatnot. But right now, you just see him getting started so much with the drag down, the rising into the drag down F uh, forward air, up tilt into up air, up air. And right there, just as I mentioned before, the up air, up air into forward air not connecting because Zeritsenan is able to press the neutral B in time. Fantastic DI from Steelix. Of course, if you DI in on Zelda's down throw, that will connect to her back air, forward air, is it giving Zelda a free 30%. And I'm surprised just how active that neutral B is, still able to intercept Steelix's side B. But wow, I love that. Steelix had the lead, Steelix was so, so confident in it, but uh, just slightly missed on the execution, and Zeratin unable to get the whiff punish for it. Um, but right now, Zeratin has Steelix in the corner, a surprising change in momentum. Uh, the side being an ultimate, not crossing up on shield, just stopping right there halfway through. Um, and right now, like, again, like, Citizen is getting phenomenal extra credit here. Maybe trying to lead the drop down with the up air, regardless, getting away with it. Ooh, great back throw, just setting up one of Zelda's, like, particularly spooky uh, ledge trap scenarios. Citizen on going with the beefy up B, trying to lead, maybe, uh, maybe trying to lead. Uh, him dropping shield there. But right now, you just see uh, Steelix. Steelix is fine to close out the stock, I believe. And up tilt can confirm into a back air or something. But don't quote me quite on that. Great use of the neutral B to stop the Phantom preemptively in the F smash, killing it, killing off Steelix. So right now, Steelix needs to get the stock ASAP, or else this is going to be looking like a very, very dominating game one for Zero to None. And the forward air, wow, the last hit of it almost killed it. Um, uh, but that down air trading with the beefy up B, that's definitely something to look out for on Zero to None's part. Um, but I feel like it wasn't a complete loss. He was able to get quite a bit of damage off of it right now. Um, and, and, and Zero to None, you know, you see him start to play up a little bit more. You see him play a little bit more aggressively because he's thinking that, ooh, I, I think that was a little bit questionable up B. I think he felt like he got the hit. But there is a very, very distinct audio cue when Zelda does get the first hit of her upbeat. And right now, um, again, Steelix needs to be a little bit more patient on Zero Tenon's shield. Um, ooh, and I love that from Zero Tenon. He's super, super patient from uh, using the, the Phantom because he knows Steelix is going to try to reflect that. If you do reflect Phantom, of course, the reward there is phenomenal. Um, it'll kill you super, super early. But again, the risk there is just as great, especially when you are at kill percent at ledge against Phantom, which has a very considerable bit of set knockback on it. Um, going into game two, um, I feel like Steelix has to bait out these neutral bees from Zelda. That is usually the game plan against Zelda. It's unless your character has frame perfect, super, super, super tight combos on on um, on on you know a character like Zelda at that particular weight, everything you do is going to be a 50/50 between. Am I going to neutral bee or am I going to make you think I'm going to do that and I'm going to land for free? But again, that it just it just brings up a whole new level of mix-ups in the matchup. And now we see Steelix up for the Robin. Wow, and Zeratinon going for the Robin ditto. Zeratinon also playing a bit of Robin as well. And able to get 24% from the Arcfire into Arcfire. I don't think he had enough time to converge with an up air. But regardless, um, this is a very, very interesting ditto to watch, definitely. Because if either of them are at ledge, um, you know, they're gonna be just getting so much mileage off of each other. Um, and I do think that Zeratinon definitely switched to Robin here as well, because he is not confident in the Zelda-Robin matchup whatsoever, and just like previous knowledge of just like hearing him talk about it, or considering his set losses to Germ or Jewel. Um, but I love the patience from Steelix. Usually you'd up for the quick fire there, but Maybe he was reading like a panic uh, jump from Zeratinon. Oh, excuse me, Zeratinon is the one. Oh, I completely mixed them up. My bad, guys. Uh, I love the back airs from Zeratinon reading a jump in earlier. But right now, ooh, Zeratinon using his own uh, arc fire to counter Steelix's charge of neutral beam. 
um, and a back here more than enough to take out the stock. Um, I don't know the names of the swords with Goblin, so I'm going to say big pointy spiky electrical sword was able to, to kill it off. Sorry guys. Um, <laughs> Leaven sword. Leaven sword. And the other one is bronze sword. I, I, Leaven I, sword and shitty sword. I don't know. Leaven sword and shitty sword. Yeah. Um, so that's what we'll call it for now. Um, <laughs> um, but right now, like Steelix is doing a fantastic job of bringing in this back after that uh, first stock. Um, and, and right now, this is very, very scary for um, Zero to None, but Zero to None retorting with his own arc fire. And even though that was a trade, it was really in Zero to None's favor because it was able to reset neutral. And so right now, like Steelix is applying all of the shield pressure, but um, of course, <laughs> forward air is not particularly the safest uh, move on shield right now in the block. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is a very, very entertaining dinner to commentate. Uh, ooh, maybe trying to read a jump out of the shield. Zero to none, definitely not trying to risk anything there. Just sticking in shield. Though, had he gone with, like, maybe an F smash afterwards, that would have been enough to get the shield break. Um, but Steelix jumping out in time and then re-grabbing accordingly. Steelix is able to, like, pro have, have the, the proper counterplay to the Robin Ledge Trap and Q. So, you'll definitely see them not jump into anything. Very, very exciting, I think. Um, ooh, that was almost a grab, but Robin's standing grab is not particularly fantastic, and it's some of the slowest grabs in the game. Uh, oh my gosh, and the book able to <laughs> knock him back off stage, putting him in disadvantage. Um, I love both of these players' usages of arc fire to just you know, to like keep each other out and make sure that they can't really ledge trap each other. It's very akin to how a Ness, for instance, might PK fire from above a little bit or a Greninja might throw out a Shuriken. So it just forcing the opponent to shield and not focus on setting up on ledges they might like. Both of these players right now at drastically high percentages. Zero to none winning the battle of the footsies, able to get the four off clutching out the stock. Um, and I feel like Steelix needs to adapt to the fact that Zero to none is sitting in shield, but Steelix... You know, regardless, is able to get that forward without losing any more percent. <gasps> Zero to not 56% from the 11 sword. So menacing. And you know what? I love, I absolutely love Zero to Nun's usage of the Arc Fire to stop the Arc Thunder coming from Steelix. He's already done this, I believe, three times in the set already. So super, super, super good from Zero to Nun. Um... Yeah, both of them making contact with each other. Whenever Arcfire makes uh, contact with anything that's not a hurtbox, it will, of course, be dispelled. Anything that's not a hurtbox or a surface, projectiles are, of course, in their entirety, are just moving hitboxes. Ooh, and Steelix, both of them going through the Nosferatu, trying to get uh, a little bit of heal off. Huh. That was interesting. With the way Steelix was positioned, I think he was afraid to drop his shield there. But, ooh. And right now, like, Steelix is, like, slowly bringing this back. Zero to none teching in despite being on the edge of the platform, only giving Steelix plenty of room to react. Great use of the shield from Steelix. They're making sure he won't die to any back airs. But the back throw, throwing Steelix off, off stage. Uh, back, air is, back throw is, of course, a kill move, but not enough to take it out from the center of stage. It's not in center or Dr. Mario. Um, and right now, you're going to see both of them play so patiently because nobody wants to be knocked off stage. This is right now zero to none stock to take. We're reading the neutral get up with the, uh, or maybe the jump down, and that's gonna be it. Zero to none dropping his lead, Steelix laughing it off, um, able to get, you know, able to get the really, really, like, you know, classic bread and butter from, from, um, from Robin, which is just the arc fire into a folder, um, or an arc fire into another arc fire, potentially. Um, regardless, going into game three, I don't know. <laughs> if I were Zero to None, I would personally go back to Zelda, get like be a little bit more comfortable because that is of course his main. Um, but I think they're gonna run it back to the Robin Ditto. But no, actually, that was a complete lie. <laughs> uh, Zero to None opting going to go back for Zelda. Um, 
he's going to overcome his fears of this matchup that he really doesn't like and going to be trying his best. Opting for, I believe this is Smash Well, yes, a really, really small stage, not allowing Robin to set up what Robin wants to do. Um, and so right now, ooh, huh. Well, regardless, right now, I think definitely the challenge here is that Steelix cannot contest Phantom as he did with um, Zeratunon's arc fires in the last game with his own. So, uh, uh, Phantom is definitely going to be a really, really big issue in this matchup right now. But if Zeratunon can just play back, play really, really patiently, and then just start like, really like getting down to it on a, on a ledge trapping scenario. Um, well, regardless, right now... Ooh, another up B. Like, that's something you have to be always, always, like, conscious of when you're fighting Zelda, but the Phantom able to scoop him up. Zero to none at a very convincing lead right now at 70. Well, no longer so convincing. I love that reflector forcing Steelix to play back a little bit more. Um, ah, I think he was trying to lead maybe a roll in because that forward uh, was definitely a little bit of a strange hit, but I want to say. But... You cannot sleep on Phantom, especially if you've held on for so long. Phantom has multiple hitboxes, but it's definitely something to look out for is Phantom 4 and 5 when he swings downwards and then he scoops up because both of those will hit you when you're hanging on ledge. Um, you know, Steelix right now is like being really, really patient with the shield, really great usage there, making sure Zero is not isn't getting any funny business off with Nairu's love there. Ooh, I love the run-up neutral beat, just because it covered so many different options. It covered a goal in, it covered an approach, it, it covered everything except, a, like, it covered everything except a runaway all the way to the ledge. Um, regardless, Zero to Nine is now up two, two stocks to one, um, and the up is not enough to take it quite yet. Um, ooh, right now, Zero to Nine regrab, this is very, very dangerous, but yep. Just as I foretold, he was definitely not at a distance where a beefy up B could have um, stuffed him out for trying to go through that uh, down smash there. Ooh, he almost got the soft down air. And Zelda's soft down air is maybe just as menacing as her sweet spotted one. Just because it still pushes you downwards, it still puts you down, and it can convert, it can it can confirm into another down air at the right percents too, which is particularly menacing. And right now, like, Zeratinon is just calling out Steelix on these over-commitments to the arc fire. I don't know what that was. Zeratinon is... <sighs> well, regardless, right now, <laughs> uh, Zeratinon definitely has a setup. Ooh, and the back throw, not enough to take it quite yet. Maybe need another 20 more percent, but it is staled right now. And that's exactly what I meant by the soft down air being so particularly menacing. And the up air's giant hitbox able to close out the stock and the game. A super, super convincing 2-1 for the Zero to None. Uh, I think him switching to Robin was, you know, I, I, th I don't... Him switching to Robin was just the lead on Steelix, um, switching off of Falco, knowing that he does uh, also play Robin as well, and feeling that Zelda maybe isn't too great in this matchup, but I love the way that uh, Zigerton untreated this uh, matchup with Zelda right now. He wasn't being too aggressive on Robin's shield with those uppies. That's a problem that Zigerton definitely had, I believe, for quite some time. He would up B directly onto his shield. Um,